Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode with Bearded Bassin. This is day two on New Maloney's with a mission of trying to catch a fish on a HUD. It is currently 29 degrees out as I launch the boat. Uh, the ride over here was pretty socked in. It was foggy as can be. And water temp is 53.2. That's actually two degrees colder than yesterday. So we're out here on this body of water. I'm not just only going to throw a HUD, I'm going to throw other baits, but my main goal today is catch a fish on a HUD. I mean, it's that time of year, this is when they bite, this is when the big girls come out and you have the chance of potentially catching your biggest fish of your life. So we're out here grinding, I'm going to be throwing a lot of, of everything and, and hoping, hoping to get a HUD fish. So stay tuned, let's get to fishing. seems fitting that we start off with the hood. Gotta get the line wet so that the first cast doesn't just absolutely shiitake my whole day. All right, only seems fitting that we start off with a hood. If I'm gonna get a hood bite today, I gotta throw it. So I'm gonna start with the hood. We're sitting in 70, 475 feet of water and uh, hoping for the best. So I just picked up the spoon. I've got a couple fish down here in 50 feet of water. Um, hugged pretty tight to the bottom. They were kind of suspending up and down. Um, so I dropped the spoon on them, see if they'll eat that. Made a few casts with the hut already, haven't been bumped yet. Like I said, it's just gonna be a game of probably slowing down and trying to catch fish.
Oh my gosh. That was a bite. That was a bite. That was a bite. Frick. I hope he didn't see me. All right, little uh, midday update. I have been chucking and winding and grinding all day. It is about noon right now, um, and I don't have a fish to show for it. Been throwing the big baits all day, um, picking up other things here and there just to keep the fish honest and see what the heck is going on, and I just can't figure them out. But I think I'm about to do the stupidest thing I've ever done while fishing. So in this spot yesterday, I lost an eight inch hood. And for those of you that know, those huds are hard to come by and they ain't cheap. As I came over here today to check the little spot where I lost it, I can see it. It's about 10 feet down and sitting on a tree. And I'm gonna go dive for it. <laughs> I know, I, I highly suggest you guys don't do this. Uh, water temp right now is 55 degrees. It's chilly. I'm still in a sweatshirt and a vest. Um, air temp's like 50 right now, so. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing it, but I have to. I have to go get my head. Let's go get it. Oh. Not so sure about this now. Oh. It's, it's a little nipply, if you can't tell. But here's the HUD. Did you guys see it? I need to get the boat in better position. Ooh, I'm freaking chilly. The one thing I forgot too was a towel. That was a big mistake. Oh boys. PSA for those at home, I don't advise you to do this. I I just put my legs in. Woo, it's freaking cold. Oh, dang it, now I'm over the top of it. I'm trying to position the boat perfectly so I could just go straight down, straight back up, because I don't want to be down there very long. You can do this. Can you guys see it? Right there. Did you guys see it? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> what am I doing?
Ooh. Ooh. I did it. Goodness. Oh, that felt great. <laughs> what would you do for a HUD? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, gosh. I'm not going to lie. That was freaking cold. But I got it. Oh. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you and say that it wasn't cold because it was freaking cold, but <laughs> look, we got the hood back. Lost, oh gosh, I almost fell in. Lost this yesterday and uh, came by today and saw it hanging from a tree, so. As you can see, I got dressed back up after I dried off, but uh, I'm gonna get back to fishing. Maybe that's a good luck and I'll actually catch something today. Let's get back to fishing. I'm almost thinking I should probably tie that hood on because it's probably going to be lucky. Yeah, we'll keep fishing the wagtail. Ten inch or ten inch? Yeah, ten inch. <laughs> uh, ten inch wagtail right there. Well, just got home. Oh man, I had to put a jacket on to do the outro simply because the weather down at the at my at my house is like I know you can't see it because the ISO is all bumped up, but it's all foggy and cold here. And I am thankful that it was warm and sunny at the lake today. <laughs> oh man, grinded it all day through the hood and the wagtail mostly. Sneaky Pete here and there, but maybe have got one bite could have been a rock i don't know but hey that's how throwing big swim baits goes in the dead of winter i hope you guys enjoyed me freezing my butt off and jumping in the water i lose too many of those things and i was like oh i can see this one it was tempting me it was tempting me and i was like ah screw it i'm just gonna do it and it was cold it was definitely cold and thankfully i got it on the first dive down didn't have to go back a second time yeah all in all it was a fun day lake new maloney's is fishing pretty tough right now at least for guys that are throwing big baits. Um, I talked to a couple of them and they couldn't really get any bites. A couple guys were catching them on jerk baits and drop shot here and there, but they don't like mine. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. In the next week or so, I'm gonna be dropping some hats, some California Delta hats, so stay tuned for those. I'll put those up on the, on the website and make a post about them whenever they get finished. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, send it to someone that you think might enjoy it. Hit that little ding dong bell so you're notified when videos like this come out. And remember, any cast could be a giant. Peace!